For decades, porn has been both scrutinized and celebrated. Our new film is really geared towards the women's liberation of today. I think a lot of women are really going to get off on it. They're really going to like it. It wasn't until the 70s, at the height of the sexual revolution, that sex on screen began to go mainstream. With technology making porn more accessible than ever, the controversy goes on. Um, it seems like there's two kind of very loud voices on either end of the spectrum. One, which, which is, you know, people who are outraged at what they see as very demeaning work for women. And then on the other side, there are these people who feel like it is very empowering for women to be able to get money to sell their own sexuality in the ways that they might want to do so. Yeah. Where do you fall on, on that? I feel like people with really extreme viewpoints or people who feel very emotional get very loud. No one should have to have sex for money. No one should have to do anything to provide a roof and basic medical care for themselves. You know, employing women is feminist. The fact that the women are getting paid maybe is empowering. Is it feminist to get paid to take your clothes off? You don't really relate to either of those extremes. Yeah. It's just, this is the way society works, this is a capitalist society, and therefore, this is also where porn fits in. Yeah. Stoya does seem to genuinely enjoy so much of her work, but there are also serious downsides, not least for her personal life. Let me tell you what it's like dating as Stoya at my age. Let me tell you, I have seen so many limp <laughs> It intimidates men. <laughs> so much <laughs> and like they don't know what to do and they put you on a pedestal and then sometimes they put you in the garbage can and then you break it off with them. Is it possible to have a monogamous relationship whilst doing porn? Well, no, there's that too. Um, the way I approach my work, like especially since I started directing myself, I am having sex with who I want to have sex with. So like, it's also really absurd that I would end up in these monogamous things when it's like, except for when I pay people I want to have sex with to have sex with me and there's a camera there. <laughs> um, and it just, it's just not for me. Did you ever think about just leaving the industry altogether? I'm, I'm considered retired. Because of your age or because? Because they haven't come across me on Pornhub mm -hmm. in a minute. And I limit my involvement with mainstream anything. You feel like you have more control now? Yeah, mm. yeah. Do you encourage young girls to get into sex work? No. no, what, no. what do you say to them? <laughs> what do you say to the girls <laughs> themselves? It, do you want to do anything with your life other than have sex on camera? Because that only lasts for so long. Um, and you, you know, you know, it's kind of a gnarly place, right? Like entertainment's a gnarly place, and plus you're expected to at least give a convincing performance of enjoying the dick you're taking. But if you could go back to your 20-year-old self, would you pursue a different career? It took me a really long time to get comfortable with doing interviews, with dealing with the press, and with people recognizing me, it does make you feel kind of like an other, even though it's appreciative and like even like glorifying. I don't know. Because this is really good. It was hard to get here, but this is really good.